Like this was one of the first pieces I ever performed publicly. The first time I ever um, performed a piece of poetry was actually across the pond in the basement of a little coffee shop in London. And I was really nervous and just wanted to get over the weirdness of doing this piece. Um, so I did it and it was fine. Most people stared, a couple people laughed. We'll see how this goes. This is breasts. Did you play with Barbies when you were little? I have a younger brother, so we stick to playing Harry Potter with stuffed animals and dinosaurs. It was many years before I saw, for the first time, things like platinum blonde hair and mini skirts and what people want a naked woman to look like. I remembered that on the first day I discovered I was becoming a woman. I was in the shower, and it hurt when I rubbed the soap bar over myself in a way that it never had before. My mother shushed me and told me to stop gawking at myself in the middle of Target. <laughs> it is not polite for a lady to look with such fascination. It is not proper for a girl to stare down her own shirt and wonder. Go figure. <laughs> British women have the largest breasts, I read in one day in an article I found on BuzzFeed. <laughs> My beautiful English aunt, who says things like, that's lovely, and drinks tea twice a day, wears an F-cup bra. <laughs> I have an American weakness for french fries. And I was not allowed to drink tea until I was 12, so I did not get so lucky. <laughs> we were in my best friend's bedroom when she lifted her shirt and told me, girl, it's all about the bandwidth. We were both awful at math, but we could still see that her 36A dwarfed my pathetic 32B. <laughs> You heard it, it's fine. <laughs> On my first Victoria's Secret trip, the lady who offered to remeasure me stripped off my favorite tattered blue bra and squinted. <laughs> Hard! <laughs> As though staring at something obviously too small to be seen. She handed me packet after packet of water-filled boo boosters. Take as many as you need, honey, for you. They're free. <laughs> the bra still cost me $50. <laughs> I showered completely naked with two other girls when we came back from the beach one day. In between sharing shampoo and giggling sprees, our breasts hung between us like fruit on trees, apples, watermelons, underripe kiwis. <laughs> and yet... None of us looks like Barbie. Thank you.